Hi everybody, Super Jacob here. Welcome back to my fashion bunker. Today I have extremely special guests with me, my best friends, Betty and Jennifer. They're very shy. No, they're not. They are just a little bit shy. It's the first time they're doing this, so be very nice to them. Otherwise, I'm gonna cut you. And uh, here we go. So as I promised in the other video, they have come to visit me. We have had the time of our lives and I do apologize for not posting more videos, but you know, sometimes there are priorities. You gotta fix them, set them, and then you're all good to go. So what happens, what ha happened is we did uh, Chanel shopping. We went to the Madonna concert. Quick, Madonna concert, how was it? Great. Fabulous. They're women of oh so little words, but they know exactly what they mean by them. So what we're gonna do now is a quick unboxing. Let's be gath. Shall we with Betty, my dear? Okay. Let's pick up the bag and oh. see what you got. All right. Shall we say this was my first Chanel bag? And shall we say that we waited for this moment for a long time? Shall we say we did a big investment? Oh my God, it was a huge and investment. Shall we say I could not have done this without Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No. The I mean, it is Betty's first. Is it your first buy or your first big Chanel buy? Well, it's my first big Chanel buy in the sense that I'm buying a Chanel bag. She gave it away. It's a Chanel bag, guys. <laughs> But of course, what else could it be? Something so beautiful in a bag like this. It could either be a small leather good, sunglasses, or a bag. What bag is it now? Just quickly before we move on with the unboxing, Betty is an art director. So what does this mean? This means in, in this particular case, when it comes to aesthetics, when it comes to choosing something, she is extremely picky. She's like a sniper. She knows exactly what she wants and it better be good because otherwise she moves on. And I'm telling you this because we'll get to, back to it in a second after the unboxing because you're gonna be surprised. You're, if this is her first bag, you're thinking, What's probably gonna be a timeless classic. You might be surprised. Let's go, moving on. So, we didn't know what we were gonna buy. We thought we were gonna buy for something classical, right? That's the thing. Timeless classic. We were thinking timeless classic. I took Betty with me to, to, to the Chanel boutique and, and we were looking at them. We saw the jumbo. We saw the jumbo made in Italy. We saw the seasonal jumbo made in France. Gorgeous navy blue with like kind of antique gold hardware. We saw the medium large flap. We saw the small. We, the maxi they did not have. We saw the reissues. Betty was like, I love it, but I can't. I can't. I can't. She's like, I can't. Because there was something that wasn't convincing her 1,000%. Yes. And then... Because I think you have to fill it. I mean, you're buying you something, you're going to... I'll lift it for you. Uh, there you go. Okay. Here we First go, guys. Of all, let's see how beautiful it is. Beautifully packaged. Look at this. You guys all know, this is a little uh, glove we get, yeah. microfiber, yeah. that helps us protect the bag. It's so beautifully done. little description how to, yeah. Gorgeous. So, glove done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Voila. Okay, guys, here we go. I wonder if any of you guessed, I mean, we can give you a little hint before we open it Voila. completely. Let's put it back. It is from the main Fall Winter 15 collection. So the Brasserie Coco. Rip it off. Yeah, rip that sucker. And here is the beauty. Oh. Wow. I am a fucking in awe. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. How long did we take to it, get this? It took us three hours or maybe even more and two glasses of champagne each. Yes. Mm -hmm. So by the time we were done, we were done. True. <laughs> Very true. How beautiful is the subject? Oh. The oh. color, the leather. The details, the size, everything is perfect. I love it. So this is basically, guys, it's a little bit like um, the middle large, maybe like something reminiscent of the northeast or northwest bags that they used to make. Uh, lambskin leather. This pattern already existed in the 70s. Believe it or not, yes, this is a classic. Um, the red tone has a hint of darkness in it. It's not that bubblegum red, but it's a... It's an intense red, it's a mature red, but with a twist of silver hardware, which gives it that 
freshness. Not just that, but a lot of people like to have this bit of leather on their chains, meaning that when it's on the shoulder, it doesn't cut through. It's way more comfortable. The inside of it, it's not a double flap, which also Betty's not a big fan of the double flap because it's hard for her to get into her bag. She a busy woman. Mm -hmm. She out and about. She needs to be quick in and out of that bag. Like it's nobody's business. And um, this one has uh, the leather up to here, then the fabric lining. It's very soft, so when you open it, the lambskin is just, it works with you, not against you. Which is sometimes the case with the caviar leather uh, maxi or jumbos with the double flaps, they tend to be a bit stiff. And as the oh-so-cute and sweet essay and Chanel told us, with the softer bags, and especially with the reissues as well, they kind of adapt to your body. They don't detach from your body, as is the case with, with Maxi and Jumbo caviar leathers. This one is made in Italy. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm coughing here. I'm loving this pattern. I'm loving it, it's soft, and the smell of it is just yes. divine. Betty, congratulations on your Gorgeous. new baby. This is... Absolutely in love. I mean, I am... I don't know, guys. I am beyond because, like, when we saw this... And, you know, Betty's very picky. It took us a long time to go through all of the Timeless Classics and reissues. And she's like, ah, think about it, think about it. Yes. And then we walk by a shelf where this little baby was standing and she's like, that one. That one. And bam. I felt it. Also the color, because it's a classical color too. Completely. Red. It goes with everything. And Chanel is classic. What we have as classic in Chanel is black, beige, and red. Those are the Fantastic. three Chanel colors. Uh, that's the bag. Now moving on cl uh, shortly, quickly. Let's put it delicately. Hello, I'm back again. Oh my God, it's even more beautiful today. I told you you're gonna that's another thing now. It wasn't the cheapest thing ever Okay, but this woman works her ass off and she deserves it So before any of you start asking questions about money, forget it. You know, I don't like to do that This is not about showing off pieces. It's about sharing with you love passion and obsession so She deserves it. She worked her ass off on it and now she got it and uh, word of advice if you are purchasing your first Chanel bag, this is proof, living proof. It doesn't have to be a timeless classic as your first purchase. It has to be the one that you fall in love with at first sight. At least I think so. Nice not, just, not just bags, but also sunglasses can be love at first sight. Jennifer here is an extremely talented hairstylist. She can do cuts, colors, everything. You name it, she does it. And so we were there together drinking and the two ladies were like getting tipsy. This lady here was getting tipsy too. I think I was the first. <laughs> you were the first to? I was. Yeah, you let it. Yeah. I had more time to drink. You had yeah, more time? <laughs> oh yes. We oh, were, were nicely said. <laughs> we spent yeah. only three hours picking the right bag. Okay. No, okay, yeah, okay. We gotta hand it to her. But, um, so in the drunkenness, uh, we walk past the sunglass stand. Not and that I would have needed alcohol to fall in love with these. No? Alcohol. Okay, let's go. Hurt. Here we go, guys. Second unboxing. Well, you know what you, what's yours now? Do I know which is mine? Do the small. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we do have... Right. We're gonna have three unboxings after all. May I? <laughs> sure, you may. We should do it at the same time, huh? Oh, you do it at the same time. That's a great idea. Yes. Time management. Oh no, the little camellia fell off. Oh, whatever. Aww. Here, that's the little camellia. Mm -hmm. We have so many camellias. Okay, Bella. girls, hit it. Hit it. Synchronized. Bella. I said, while they are unboxing, I'm gonna tell you this beautiful story. Uh, how does the Prince of Bel Air go? These two ladies are married and they are in love and this is so beautiful and we are so grateful and we do not take for granted the fact that we are living in times when you are free to love who you want, where you are free to express that love as you wish, where you do not fear some motherfucker on the street who's gonna laugh at oh. you or yell at you if you're holding hands and if you're expressing your love for one another. So for all of you out there, bear that in mind. Do not take for granted your freedom. Moving on to more futile things as a boxing of sunglasses. Well okay. said. Show it. Yes. One, two, three. Woo! Woo! <laughs> now, Camellia here. So what happened? What happened in this case? The ladies have this gorgeous model. We should put, put them on at the same time. Yeah, synchronized sunglass pudding. Three, two, one. Ignition. Hello, Jacob. Hey, girl. Yeah, come on. Come to me. Come to Hello. me. Hello. Yes, mama, these betches are hot. <laughs> so what, what happened here 
This is the same model, believe it or not. It's a different color, but look how amazing they fit. When you put them on, they completely transform and seem like two different uh, pair of shades. They do, I fortunately. Think... Since they do live in the same house. Oh, yes, of course. The temples on the top, That's right. they have little tiny uh, patent leather ribbons, uh, bows that are gorgeous with the Chanel logo in metal on top of them. So that's so much attention to detail. Luxottica and Chanel together did a great job, I have to say. Yes, Goyles, we're loving it. We're loving it. They're so cute. I love this like couple looks. I mean, you know, <laughs> where, where the thing is similar, but it's not quite the same. I, I, I think it's gorgeous. And I'm so, so, so happy that, th that this model fits them both. Different facial structures, different bone structure, but still it fits. Which also yes. proves to show, shows to prove, proves to show. Proves to show. Proves to show, and you can wear anything, baby. Yes. Oh yeah, and it also was a, a love at first sight. It was love at first sight. It was. I won those. I mean, they it were was. love at first sight. The glasses were love at first sight. The bag was love at first it's sight. It's all true. It seems to be a theme for us. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, guys, before we end it. Uh, I want to hear your comments on the Madonna concert. Now you have seen us already freaking out and peeing our pants, but uh, let's now now that we have recollected ourselves, what do we think of it? Well, it was fabulous. It was just fantastic. Okay, we've seen it in. Uh, yes, we saw it in New York. York. In New York, and let's say that the show we saw a few days ago was three times as better. The energy was better. Um, I think the overall show was better. The costumes were better because one was absent. Our least favorite costume was absent. and But her energy was fantastic. I think it was the best it could have been. And uh, I'm very, very, very glad that we got to see her here. And um, we were given an excellent show. Yes, you see, Madonna performed in the fashion bunker, so we had a <laughs> private viewing. <laughs> Here in this room. Mm, I mean, I know you're gonna be thinking probably, okay, gay people commenting on Madonna. Well, there were a <laughs> lot of straight people at the show as well. There, there was a lot of boys hugging girls, girls hugging boys many, many. going on. So, you know, give that, give that, give that, you know, she ain't no spring chicken no more. <laughs> But she a very oh, juicy chicken, she nevertheless. Could. She is a juicy chicken. She could move. She a juicy chicken. Very well said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, she was in good shape. She had a great show. She was enjoying it herself, giving it, giving it out. Well, that was good the joy of it. Was you could feel it coming off of her. Yeah. That she was fantastic. really into the show. She seemed, dare I say, happy. Yeah, yeah, she did seem very happy. So. We, we were all like thinking she probably got lucky right before the show, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that tends to put a smile in one's face. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was irradiating that glow that you can only glow when... Mm -hmm. uh, it was a glow. When something, you know, some, a little something, something. Cheek to cheek. And we, cheek know, to cheek. And we know that glow. Oh, you know that glow. Unfortunately, we were close We get to that glow. <laughs> Irradiance. <laughs> the glowing from within. She had it all. She, yes. Oh, God, girl. Yas, mama. Another thing, um, which I said I would mention, I forgot, now I'm getting back to it. As far as the bag is concerned, guys, two things. I was, I was telling Betty yesterday because, it, you know, she bought the bag and we left the, the store. We were going we're, we're, we're gonna to go to have dinner and, and she's like, I don't, I don't feel anything. I'm like, you're numb. Because when you make a big purchase like this, I know what it happens to me. You, you, you're like, you have no emotions. When I am so excited and I do an unboxing for you guys of a new bag, I seem a little bit like dead. It's just because like you're paralyzed and then I, I'm told her as time passes like today already or two days later you're gonna fall in love with it you're gonna become so excited for it because like the numbness wears off the the shock of spending the money wears off but it gives you that buzz and it gives you that kind of high which is directly proportional to the price of the bag the more expensive the bag the longer you're numb but the really good thing about these single flaps and seasonal bags is that Chanel, and this is my personal opinion, I have the feeling that the prices have gone down a bit. This one is like half the price of the Timeless Classic. So for whoever is considering of getting a gorgeous bag that's more experimental, more fresh, more young, think about getting a seasonal bag because you're gonna get the you're gonna get so much out of it, you're gonna be so so excited about it, and the numbness will wear off sooner. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching us. Uh, thumb us up. 
Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more. And uh, before we say goodbye, please, Jen, please, for the love of us, do the Rat from the Muppet Show interpretation and then do the Australian accent. <laughs> Hit it! Good, right? Yeah, that was so nice. Yes. <laughs> uh, Coinman? Okay, I'm gonna cover it. Oh my god, what's Miss Peggy doing? I gotta get her a present. Coinman, you can't go wrong with Chanel. <laughs> For Miss Peggy. Okay, and now down and it. Down and it. Oh, I'd rather not try Irish if you don't mind. Oh, Irish? My, uh, Let's go for the Irish. Is a little rusty at the time. Oh my god, you know, Jen, I mean, if she ever decides to quit the hairdressing, she should. And Hollywood, are you listening? Oh, I have this a dinner theater could... career in Ireland waiting for me. And she could do any freaking accent. Like, yeah. you give her a character, she gonna give you the world. So guys, thank you so much for watching us. We Thank love you, you and uh, stay tuned for more coming from Super Deco Fashion Bunker and all my fabulous friends. Love ya. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.